Oh my goodness, I am way overdue for this. So this is legit, like legit. The first time I'm going for an explore since I've been at the warehouse, man. Are you serious? I am serious. <laughs> Today is Friday. So you know the vibe's good. And look at this, like no traffic, which is amazing. So we are exploring Melbourne, ladies and gents. I'm so, I've been so keen for this. It's actually cool. I put up a little po poll asking what you guys would like to see more of and you guys actually suggested, it wasn't even part of the list, you guys suggested that I do some damn motor vlogging, like real simple styles. One camera on the front, POV, which is what you're seeing there. One pointing back and that's it. But of course, you know, me being me, <laughs> I went a little cheek and I stuck the Insta360 on. I can't help myself. So here you go, as, as requested. And so, yeah, the warehouse is all set up. It's as set up as I can get it, which I'm really stoked about. I love it, hey, I bloody, I love it. I feel like I'm still recovering from the move and everything. Like last night, I slept for 10 hours. That's the most I've slept since, I swear, like September last year. <laughs> it's just been, it's been hectic. It has been a hectic time. Now that the warehouse is set up, I'm getting, you know, making deals and getting all the brands on board and stuff like that, which is, which is cool, it's fun, but um, I just, uh, I'm just hanging to ride and to shoot some stuff. And so that's what we are doing today. We are um, actually a location scouting. I need some spots to shoot guys. I've got, I've got nothing. If you follow my Instagram, I like to shoot at cool locations. Um, one of which, we're already here. <laughs> yeah, this is the spot here. So this is the Westgate Bridge. Check, check this thing out, man. It's damn huge. And there's a little memorial thing here, which I'm keen to check out because it, it collapsed like in the 70s or something and stacks of people died. We'll suss that out later. Um, but right now, I want to check this bad boy out. I try to leave at the time that I want to be shooting. That's when I location scout, so I know what the sun's doing. And you know, my favorite time of day is golden hour. I damn love golden hour. Is that nice? Yeah, I just want to dodge all these crappy fences and stuff, hey. So basically with location scouting, I just sort of rock up. It's not a full-on shoot or anything like that. It's just to get a vibe on the uh, on the area, find some cool locations. And then when I am ready, I will rock up and I'll do a full-on shoot. I'll just stay here until the sun literally goes down and take as many photos, combinations and everything as possible. Whoa, it's very tight. Okay, 85 mil, it's my new favorite lens. This lens I call Lazarus. Laz Lazarus? Lazarus? Whatever the dude's name is. <laughs> I'll let you know in a little bit. I just don't like the fan. So yeah, so I think Rocking up here a bit, a little bit later, once the sun's set a little bit more, getting that shadow coming up a bit, we'll get a cool shot, be able to move the bike back a little bit. Oh, so it's actually not too bad. I just hate the fence. And usually I use my 5D4, but this is just handy because I've still got my helmet on and everything. And I just want to have a flip out screen that does these ones. 6D2 is awesome. I actually really like this camera. And of course, the cool thing about editing, see all those green fences and everything? I can get rid of all that. Not so much photoshopping it out, just mainly the colours, you know what I mean? Just make it blend in. You want to make it blend in and look all sick, eh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I found it. Find where you want to set up your bike first. This is how I take photos of myself. See, we're a mad where you can get like an awesome composition. Bit of sun, bridges curling around, bit of a lead line on the bottom and on the top, which is Ooh. All right, that'll do. That's it. Just real quick and easy. And then like, you know, you can have a little suss and a play and next time you come, oh, you'll be, you'll be in it. You'll be all over it. Location one, done. Location two is, I have no idea. <laughs> this is the only spot I knew where to start. Actually, yeah, I want to check this out. Let's have a squeeze. So this huge ass bridge collapsed. Are they, are they working on it or something? Construction workers employed on the Westgate Bridge erected and dedicated this memorial to the 35 workmates who were killed when a span of the bridge collapsed during construction. At 11.50 a.m. 15th of October 1970, our comrades who lost their lives were all of these gents. Wow. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, that's heaps sad. There's actually a, an incredible song by Mark, Mark Seymour from the Hunters and Collectors called The Westgate, or just Westgate, and this is, this is what it's about. It's a pretty powerful tune. I'll link it in the description below so you guys can have a listen to it, but look at that. It's, I travel this every day, guys. <laughs> I froth on it. I love it. All right, 
let's move the sun isn't staying up for us baby like i'm not even i'm not going to use any sort of gps or sat nav or anything got a hair in my mouth i just sort of i want to get lost you know this is this is how I location scout. I just sort of keep my eyes peeled for any cool spots. Like, that all looks mad. Can we drive in there? I don't know. And yeah, and then if you see something that looks cool, that sort of tickles your little fancy, you jump on board and get amongst it. Oh, what is his hair on my mouth? I'll tell you what, it feels good to just be cruising around with you guys. I guess I never really, uh, I don't know. Just hearing my voice, hearing myself just talk all the time. I'm just like, ah, it's, a, it's hard enough me editing myself. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. We're gonna get down there. Um, yeah, it's hard enough just editing yourself, listening to yourself all the time, rather than <laughs> writing and doing the exact same thing. Oh my gosh. I thought there's no way in the world you guys would want to hear me just ramble on about just absolutely nothing. And I don't really class myself as a good talker, a good speaker. I, I always, I start, ah, oh, damn it, that. <laughs> I just lose my train of thought heaves, hey, and I like I, I mumble and my I feel like my tongue's too fat for my mouth. So I've got to do little bloody vocal warm-ups. Oh, I can't believe I'm just doing this all over again. Far out. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um yeah, and so and so doing this like all those little cuts and stuff that you see that I do, that's always because I'm just like screwing up what I'm saying. I'm always like blah, 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 and my tongue gets in the way and I get frustrated and so i just cut the cut that whole part out or whatever um i'm getting better at it though i'm getting better it's still it's it's a thing it's still a skill a little bumpy road so this is a this is like a power plant or something looks like a power plant this could look cool at night i reckon maybe with all the lights going on oh what is this hair on my mouth man Ugh. <laughs> i moved the location of a mic actually i really like this this would be good with 85 mil, we'll just park it across here. Underneath that, oh, oh there's so much going on. <laughs> I wonder how busy this road is. It doesn't look like it's busy at all, hey. Um, yeah, I moved, I moved my mic. I've been trying to work out a better place to put my mic and my helmet because I'm not overly happy with the way it's sounding, especially when you get up to high speeds, man. It's all just, you can barely hear me and I don't have that sort of voice that sort of cuts through you know, ah, uh, how's it going? You know, that sort of vibe. Uh, this is, well, is this a dirt road? <laughs> what? It's a dirt road. Ah, oh, there's a traction. Traction just kicked in. Probably just tear it up and down here. They'll get the shits for sure. Or maybe they'll just be like, oh, hell's yeah, brother. That's sick, eh? Um, and so, yeah, I moved the, <laughs> see what I mean about getting distracted? Bloody hell. So I'll move my, my mic to like the very front of my mouth. It's right there. I still have the dead cat on it though, so it's all fluffy and stuff. And it, it keeps <laughs> touching my mouth and my lips and it's slightly like constantly on my tongue. And I'm so tempted to, see I'm already tempted to take things off my bike cameras so you can get me running up and down here. But no, I'm going to stick to the damn POV cam. I'm just going to turn traction ABS off there. <laughs> um, see this? This is what I'm using as my side stand, you know, little prop up thing. This was from under my fridge. During the move, I lost two of them. I was left with one. So I cut this screw thing off and it's actually the best size for this. I just worked that out today. How good is that? Oh yeah, I'm going to tell you a story about this. Lazarus. Oh yeah, I got this new bag as well. How cool is it? From R9 Customs. Such a good quality. I've got a link for that in the description as well. Use my code FEELS for 5% off. Oh, can you see this? I'm so excited about this one. This is a location, guys. Holy crap, that looks so good. Boom, boom, 85 mil, man. Look at that compression. I hope you can see this. And another one like this. So, oh man, it was easily one of the worst days of my life. Okay, 